Hello, hello, welcome back. Let's do some sculpting then, shall we? So we are going to make our landscape that's going to be for our second level in the game we're creating. So what I want to do first of all is I just need to put some height in this somewhere. And what's important for this, because we want it to look like a canyon, I'm going to make sure that my brush fall off is all the way down. I want a hard brush on this. I've got my sculpt tool on. Uh, and now that I've done that, I've realized that I need to change my brush back. There we go. So we've got the circular brush. Uh, my tool strength 0 0.3. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to move that up or down. I'll leave it where it is. But my brush size needs to be a little bit smaller. That looks okay. I'm just going to start in one corner. And I'm going to sculpt up to get some height into the level. About there. And for what we're doing here, that height's kind of important. Then what I'm going to do is switch to my flatten tool. And again, I've got that hard edged on my brush and then I'm going to go for about the top and I'm just going to flatten it all out like this and all around the edge of my map I need to have this nice and flat so the play can't get out basically and I want to keep it quite close to the edge if I can I'm just using my orbit controls just to fly around and none of this needs to look perfect because we're going to do some cool stuff later with static meshes. But it just needs to go all around the outside. Okay. And then we'll move around here as well. Again, I'm just trying to keep it to the edge. Oh, hello, that's not good. Let's undo that. I missed there where I started clicking. Remember, where you start clicking with this tool is where it will sample the height from. And then we'll just move around. I can change the height of this later, but for now, I just want to get it raised up all around the outside of the level, like that. And then I'm just going to press play at this stage to get a feel for the scale. And that actually looks quite good. It's tall, but it's not too tall. And that should work nicely. Excellent. Right, I'm going to zoom out again. And then I want to just create some interesting play spaces. So I'm going to have my play probably start in one of the corners, like here. And I want there to be some element of exploration to this level. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to create a bit of a corridor. About there, like that. So the play is going to start roughly here. And then they're going to have to go down around here. And then I'm going to do the same, or something very, very similar, over here as well. So I'm going to start with my height brush. Like that. Okay. And now we've got a pretty interesting environment. But there is something else that I need to do. The sort of narrative of the game we're creating is that Blip is escaping this spaceship that's crashed. And so we need a platform somewhere that's going to have that crashed spaceship on. And we're going to use a little bit of game design here. So we're going to have it so that when Blip leaves that area where the, the spaceship's crashed, he can't go back to it. It's called a valve in game design terms. And we're going to create one of those. And that's going to be about here. So I now need to get into this space a little bit more. You can see this is all warping and moving. That's perfectly normal. We'll change that later. But at the moment, we just need to get sort of roughly into the middle here. I'm going to make my brush much smaller. And about halfway up, I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to try and create a flat area here. So it's just about halfway up there. And I just need a playable area. That's going to be where the spaceship has crashed. There we go. That looks pretty good. And I just need to get my player start up there as well to make sure that the scale feels okay. So I'm just going to go back into selection mode. I'll find my player start, which is here. And I need to move this so that it's going to be, oh, hello. So it's going to be on this platform. So just there. And then I'll just press play and make sure that feels okay. So the scale's okay. The player's not going to be able to jump up there. It's nice and steep. So this is doing the job I need it to do. And then while we're at it, we'll check everything else. So once they jump down there, there's no way back up, which is perfect. That's going to do our bit of game design, bit of level design that we need. And then as we mosey around here, maybe there's going to be some big reveals. 
and then we can go over here. Yep, this is looking good. Lots of space to explore and we can get all the way around there. Nice, so I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, so now we've got the main canyon a bit going on. The floor, the sort of inside of the canyon is all completely flat. So let's just go back to our landscape mode here. And I'm going to add some noise just to stop that from looking so boring, basically. So I'm going to need a bigger brush for this. So let's just scale my brush size up. That looks a good size. I want a, a pretty high brush fall off for this. because I want this to be a bit smoother. And importantly, the noise scale needs to be a little bit lower just to create some variation. So I'm going to drop that to about 10. And also my tool strength, I'm going to knock down to about 0.1. I don't want this to be too strong. It'll be distracting. And then what I'm going to do is just, and you'll hopefully barely be able to see this doing anything. That's the effect we're going for. So I'm just clicking and dragging. And in a minute, once I test this out, you should be able to see what effect this is having. And you really do need to get in there as the player to see the effect of this. So I'm just going to paint up to there. And I also want to paint on my platform over here as well to get some variation. Right, if I now press play, you should be able to see that the floor just isn't level. You see, it's at different heights. If I jump down here as well, you can see that it gets a little bit higher and lower here. So it's just adding in some variation. Now, an issue that I do have with this is it's quite harsh and looks a little bit artificial. With that in mind, we need to go in and just get the smooth brush. Tool strength, I'm now going to do 0 0.05. I want this to be really subtle again. And my brush size is okay. And then just all the places where I've been in with the noise tool. And I don't need this to be perfect. And I am trying to stay away from kind of the cliff edges. Because if I smooth those, I'm going to lose that definition. But we just need to work our way around like that. And we'll just get into this area here. You can see I've lost a bit of that definition there. So what I'm going to do is just get my flattened brush, get a low fall off on it, and a smaller brush. And I'm just going to flatten this out again to be kind of ground level. Because it is important that this, the edges of this is kind of quite sheer. So that's all right. I'm just going to go back into my noise brush and get a bit more of a fall off going on. And then I'm going to be a bit more careful about where I use this and go back in with my smooth brush. And again, be very, very careful. There we go. That then is the landscape basically done. However, if like me, you are finding that as you get closer and further away, from the edges, you can see that they're moving. Now this is natural. This is actually part of why we use landscapes. It's making sure that it's running efficiently. However, it's happening in a way that's too noticeable. It's because we've got a smaller landscape, uh, but it is something we're gonna need to change. Otherwise it could get distracted and we could see it clipping through other geometry. So let's go back into our selection mode and then I'm gonna select that landscape. So I can just select it here from my outline or I can just click on it. And then I'm going to look in the details panel. I'm just going to start scrolling down. And in this landscape section here, I'm going to expand advanced. And I'll keep scrolling down until I find this LOD distribution here. This is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to change LOD zero screen size to a value of 0 0.15. And when I press enter, you should see this change straight away. So I'll press enter now. You see that now all stays much harder. And as I run around, I can now not see those changing anymore. So that's pretty good. And that will do it for this step. You have now created and sculpted a landscape. You've got a nice canyon area for the gameplay to take place, which is good. You've gotten familiar with things like the sculpt tool, with the flatten tool, with the noise tool, and with the smooth tool, as well as changing some of the settings. So in the next step, we're gonna to need to get some materials on this landscape to just make it look cool. So I will see you in the next step for landscape materials. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, 
please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.